If you're watching this video, it means you're either in medical school or you have intentions of getting into medical school. Regardless of whichever category you may fall into, I would like to tell you that you are extraordinary and you have everything it takes to succeed in medical school. No one should tell you that you don't have what it takes to be in medical school. Medical school is a process. You are going to grow and evolve along the way. No one is ever ready when they start. There's a lot of stuff to learn and improve on once you start your journey through medical school. Don't let anyone project their fears or insecurities on you. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. If you are passionate enough about medical school, then I assure you, you will be able to complete your journey through medical school. Allow your passion drive you and you will be surprised how good you can become. Hello there, this is Medzone TV, home to medical school excellence. Medzone TV is an online medical community that presents you with series of well-packed activities, ranging from captivating stories, top-notch medical contents, fascinating medical videos, quizzes, monthly challenges, and a lot more you can't afford to miss. Today we'll be telling you about the harsh truths of medical school. Please sit back, relax, and listen. The first harsh truth about medical school is that not everyone is in medical school for the same reason. Yes, not everyone is in medical school for the same reason. If you ask a lot of medical students their motivation for studying medicine, many of them will say it's because of their desire to want to help people, or they would simply say they want to save lives. This is in fact true for many people, but for some people, this is not the real reason why they choose to study medicine. Yes, this is not the real reason why they choose to study medicine. For some people, the real reason why they choose to study medicine is because of the broad range of opportunities available to healthcare professionals after graduation. They believe that upon graduating, securing a job in the hospital or any other medical facility will be easy and thus they decided to go into medical school. For some, the real reason why they choose to go into medical school is because of the respect the society accords to those in medical profession. Whether we want to admit it or not, healthcare workers are always on the top of the social scale. They just want the doctor title in front of their names and the respect that comes with the title. For some, the real reason why they choose to go into medical school is because of the financial stability that comes with the profession. They want a safe job or career and want to live a life of affluence. In fact, this reason is even more common than we think, especially for young people living in countries where it is very difficult to find a job. Why for others, the real reason why they choose to go into medical school is because of parental pressure or peer pressure. They never wanted to become health professionals. In fact, they were interested in engineering, law, music, architecture, or something totally unrelated to medicine. But because of parental pressure or peer pressure, they found themselves in medical school. Moving on, the second harsh truth about medical school is that medical school is tough, stressful, and challenging. Yes, make no mistake, medical school is hard. Not only is it two to three years longer than a standard undergraduate degree, the vigorous examination procedures, coupled with an extensive syllabus, makes completing a medical degree incredibly difficult. As you advance through medical school, medical school generally gets more difficult even though subsequent years will build upon the knowledge you have accumulated in your earlier years through medical school. The speed in which medical school materials are taught or delivered is breathtaking and will humble every student. An entire chapter in a textbook that may be 35 to 40 pages long and might take you at least three to four days to finish studying can be delivered in a day. This means that it is your sole responsibility to read up what has been taught in class and keep up with the pace of the lecturer. In order to be successful in medical school, medical students typically need to spend a lot of time reading, and this requires continuous discipline. Most medical schools expect their students to be up and doing, and thus you have to be ready to fight through the ups and downs of medical school and reach the level that you want to reach as a medical student. Moving on. Another harsh truth about medical school is that medical school is not for only intelligent people. Don't get me wrong, intelligence matters in every aspect of life including medical school. However, intelligence alone is not the most important thing that is needed to succeed in medical school. What is needed to succeed in medical school is hard work, dedication and focus. An intelligent person who fails to work hard won't get anywhere in medical school. Intelligence is knowing what to do, but hard work is doing what you ought to do. People who work hard in medical school usually always tend to succeed in medical school. Most medical professionals are not geniuses. In medicine, working hard to learn the basics, knowing how to look up what you don't know, having the humility to know when to ask for help, and using common sense in clinical decision making will get you through medical school and make you a far better clinician than those in the same path as yourself. Moving on, 
The next harsh truth about medical school is that medical school is long. Yes, medical school is very long, especially in a country like Nigeria where university strikes are common. The numerous strikes distort the university calendar and students who are supposed to do a four-year program end up spending five to six years for a simple program. The medical program is not an exception. Because of the incessant strike action, accreditation issues or challenges, and slow academic calendar that is operated by some universities, the medical program can become longer than normal. Instead of spending six years in studying the medical program, some medical students end up spending eight to nine years in the university and sometimes even ten years studying the medical program. This challenge is especially common with federal and state universities offering the medical program as private universities don't usually go on these incessant strikes. We have a video that explains the six years of medical school in Nigeria and I will be leaving the link to the video in the description. In the video, you will learn about the different levels of medical school in Nigeria, what each of these levels entail, the various professional exams written in each of these levels, and what is expected of you as a medical student studying in Nigeria. Another harsh truth that you need to know about medical school is the fact that you will hit breaking points in medical school. Medical school will stress you to the point that you start asking yourself questions and you start experiencing feelings of uncertainty. You start asking yourself if the journey is really worth it. If all the sacrifices you are making will be worth it at the end of the day. You begin to lose all the motivation you once had and start procrastinating. You start to doubt your skills, your talents and all your accomplishments. During this time, you may even experience anxiety and depression. You become emotionally unstable and find it difficult to balance what you want to do with what you ought to do. This may go as far as affecting your relationship with people. All of a sudden, you become scared of exams and you start panicking as the exam draws closer. You find it difficult to concentrate, sleep or study due to the excessive anxiety. Please note that everyone experiences breaking points in distinct ways in medical school. However, learning how to overcome these breaking points is what is important. Always understand your emotional triggers and learn to give yourself a break. Moving on, another harsh truth about medical school is that you will need a strong support system. Yes, support system is everything in medical school. This support system can be your family, close friends, relatives, your classmates or senior colleagues, or your boyfriend, girlfriend, wife or husband. Having a strong support system can help you reduce the stress, anxiety or depression and improve your overall coping strategies in medical school. When we have people who we can rely on and who can rely on us for support, it makes the journey through medical school easier. We can vent all our feelings and frustrations to them knowing that they won't judge us. Whenever we reach a breaking point in medical school such as filling an exam or test, having one form of health challenge or the other, or experiencing a painful relationship breakup, they can always help in pulling us out. Having a few people that you can trust can help you make difficult decisions and manage the everyday challenges that medical school will throw at you. Another harsh truth about medical school is that you learn a lot and you forget a lot. Yes, contrary to popular belief, medical students don't remember everything they learn in medical school. The amount of information that must be learned in medical school is so much that it is impossible to remember everything you have learned. Fair enough, you may remember the basics of a topic, especially if you understood the topic very well when it was taught in class or when you read it in the textbook, but you may not be able to remember the supporting details in the topic. For example, it is impossible to remember the origin and extraction of every muscle in the entire human body, even though you have learned about it in anatomy, or the adverse effect of every drug you learned in pharmacology, or the entire enzymes involved in the metabolism of glucose in the glycolytic pathway or the intrinsic and extrinsic pathway of blood coagulation. It is impossible to remember everything even though you just finished the class just last year or two or three years ago. So in medical school, you learn a lot and you forget a lot. Moving on, another harsh truth about medical school is the fact that some medical students have an unfair advantage over their colleagues on the same path as them. This unfair advantage could be the ability to process and retain information that they may have studied. Some students may spend less time studying but are able to retain an enormous amount of information both from studying alone and from attending lectures while their counterparts may find it difficult to process and retain information even though they tend to spend longer hours studying. Thus, you sometimes find students who are always in the class or in the library studying, filling or receiving an examination or test while their counterparts who you barely see studying, passing an exam with flying colors. This unfair advantage could also be in the form of study resources and materials. 
Medical students from a poor background may find it difficult to buy all the relevant materials and place books needed in the medical school, while those from a well-to-do family and have more than enough financial resources to afford these place books and study materials needed in medical school will buy them. This lack of learning materials can seriously affect those medical students from a poor background and create an unfair advantage for the medical students who are from well-to-do families. Another unfair advantage that some medical students have over their colleagues is their ability to pass an exam using connections. This kind of thing happens everywhere in every aspect of life and even in some medical schools. The connection could be their father's or mother's connection, could be from the relationships they have made with a few lecturers and professors, or it could be from offering bribes to their teachers. Moving on, another harsh truth about medical school is that you have to know how to manage your time as effective time management skills will help you reduce the stress of medical school and achieve bigger and better results. Start studying early. Don't leave it until the last minute. Give yourself enough time to study as this gives you the best chance of getting good grades. Learn to do the right thing that you ought to do at the right time. Devise a schedule and learn to stick to your schedule. Attend lectures every day and don't skip classes. Avoid study distractions and learn to turn off your phone or put your phone on silent when studying. Create a strategy for exams and understand that effective time management is crucial in medical school. And that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for staying with us till the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as it helps the channel grow. Also, please don't forget to share this video as I'm very sure that there are people in your cycle who will find this video very valuable. Thanks once again for watching and as always, please don't forget to comment to tell us any specific areas or topics you may need help in.